Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're testing out total system latency with Cyberpunk with and without frame generation. It is not going to be a side by side and holy shit, look at the ghosting in the background with preset D with uh, frame generation. No, with uh, this is not even with frame generation enabled. This is just low FPS and an older preset. So anyway, this is not about uh, visuals. Holy shit, that's bad. Um, this is the settings that I'm using. I'm using DLSS performance with DLSS 4, ray reconstruction enabled. The rest is everything max. Because some people also say you cannot hit, uh, play this game at maximum settings. Well, it is maxed. We're playing at DLSS performance. Again, this is not a visual comparison. This is really for the input latency. Also, I have a little an announcement to make in the end of the video, so make sure to stick for the an announcement. I think you guys are going to like it. So for now, let's just drive around a bit and see what the latency is doing. So when we're standing still and stuff, it is like low 40s. When we're driving a bit, it starts to go up just a little bit. So mid 40s, take a turn here. I am not the best driver with the mouse and keyboard in this game, but that is fine. It is all fine. That is some weird stuff going on. That is some weird stuff. Well, it's cyberpunk after all. <laughs> Should be fixed by now, but... Uh... Yeah, after a couple thousand hours of playing, I can tell you the game still has some bugs. So, um, back to the video. So yeah, we're having now in the high 40s. Sometimes it went to the 50s, but let's say mid 40s. Yeah, I think mid 40s is like a real thing to say. So this is without frame generation. It, it feels shit because I'm having low FPS. That is something I prefer to not play with because I have a high-end PC and I want to play with more FPS. And yeah, so low FPS with high latency, it is not a fun thing to do. It uh, it makes driving a bit harder. Now some would say a skill issue and I'm pretty sure this is also a skill issue that I'm not good with driving on a mouse and keyboard, but that's fine. Boom shakalaka. So. We established that. Our. FPS is in the. 40s 50s. And our latency. Is also. Like 45. Let's say 45. Ish. So. Let's go back to the settings. Uh, I think I showed it before. But I will show you again. Everything is maxed out except for this uh, stuff. I don't like uh, all of this, so I turn it off. Personal preference if you want to turn it on. Then, yeah, just turn it on. The rest, it is all maxed out. So, now we turn on uh, frame generation, apply. We need to restart the game, so I will see you back in a second. And I'm back. So, oh, before I go driving, um, let's go to the settings. So now... It is everything the same settings. Everything on the max still. Nothing has been changed. The only thing has been changed is the frame generation. We're now having times two. And the latency is a little bit higher. Do I feel it? Uh, no, not at all. Because we're going from 45 to like 55, 57. If it was like, uh, if you had like a total MS of 10 and you will add 10 to there, then you have double the latency. Yeah, you would feel it for sure. This is 10 added latency over 45 latency. So I personally don't feel it that much. Um... Honestly, I don't feel it at all. What I do feel is that the game is way smoother. Why? Because we have double the FPS. That's why. 
with a tiny amount of added latency. In my opinion, the trade-off is worth it. Because I really don't feel like, uh, what is it, like 10-15% uh, added latency or something. I don't feel it. What I do feel is that the game feels more smooth, looks more smooth, no more stuttering or whatever. It Like the weird stutters and stuff. So we're having just a little bit more MS. Like, don't you think for double the FPS that is worth it? Something you don't even feel? Because I generously don't feel it. I play with a mouse and keyboard, so I'm sensitive for that uh, stuff. But going from 45 to, yeah, now also in 45. But yeah, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It is like a 10 ms higher. Do I feel that? No, not at all. Come on, car, go away. And I have like a couple thousand hours in this game. I replayed this game so much. I've done every possible ending. Uh, the game is definitely worth it to play it. And I have played it with frame generation on. I started playing this game with a 4080. And I upgraded to a 5080. And I even tested frame generation on a 4080. And it was also good on this game. I haven't tested it with, uh, with like a 4060 for example. Or a 5060. So I can't speak for those cards. But I can speak for those two cards that I have tested frame generation in this game on my own personal PC and it, feel ama it feels amazing so yeah um, that is why I wanted to make this video like the difference isn't this that bad and let's actually test for fun the times 3 I didn't play with this myself um, this also feels good this might be because we are in a tunnel with no uh, loading in things yeah the same we have lower latency okay 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 we're having lower latency the game is smooth no uh, i'm lying we're having about the same latency well, we actually have lower latency the times too. And we're having 145 FPS now. Times 3, new meta. Okay, here we're getting like, uh, I think, back into a heavier area. Slow down, Turbo. You'll get us killed again. Slow down, Turbo. Okay, Johnny. Um, so yeah, uh, even times 3, it is really playable. Um, I don't feel a difference with times 2. Honestly, I don't feel it at all. It feels really responsive. So, yeah. Um, that is what I uh, wanted to talk about a little bit. To show that the game is really playable. With frame generation. I have played this game only with frame generation. Because I want everything maxed out. Because I have a card that can, I in, in my opinion, play this game with everything maxed out. So, yeah, also the announcement that I wanted to make. I've made a subreddit because I have a lot of questions from people to help them set things up sometimes. And the communication is sometimes a bit uh, annoying on YouTube. Like it is hard to uh, share DMs and stuff because you can't directly DM on Reddit. Uh, I mean on YouTube. So that's why I made the Reddit. I will link it in the description. So if you guys want to join it. Also, the channel is going pretty good. I want to do a giveaway when I have a thousand subs. Um, for now, what I'm going to make is a uh, program that will filter some comments. And some people that follow the channel that are subscribed and are commenting. But that is going to do on the 1000 subs video. And I'm going to give away 3 games of your own choice. So you can choose 3 games on uh, on Steam, on Epic, on EA, wherever you want it. And I will give them to you. 
So that is going to be the giveaway for the thousand uh, subs. So be sure to sub to the channel so we can reach it earlier. And for a 10,000 sub special, if we reach that goal, of course we're going to reach that goal. I will do a huge giveaway actually. I discussed it uh, at my work. As some of you might know, I work in hardware re repairs and sometimes we get some donated uh, PC components. And yeah, since I'm co-owner, <laughs> um, I can do a nice giveaway. But we need to reach 10,000 sub first for like that big giveaway. But I want to start at the 1,000 subs giveaway with three PC games of your choice. Um, even deluxe editions, by the way. So... Don't be afraid to ask for three games for deluxe editions or special editions or whatever. And I will give them to you on yeah, whatever platform you want to. So if you don't have access to a specific uh, platform or whatever, we're going to figure something out. But subscribe to the channel because we need to hit that thousand subs first. So yeah, that is uh, yeah, the end of the video. <laughs> So, if you guys like the video, please subscribe to the channel, put a like, put a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!